Oh, I don't know what that logo is. I don't know what that logo is either. What the fuck is that W? What the, I think it. I think it might stand for like Wiener. Yeah, Wiener. Maybe I don't know. Oh, I don't know what SmackDown is either. But welcome. What the fuck? GCW Dark has returned, and is now on YouTube. And also, GCW has just returned in general after a week away. Welcome. We're live from Chicago, one of the greatest wrestling cities. I'm here with Jake Impact. How are you, buddy? Hello. I am good. Yeah, Chicago, home of the Bulls, home of the Blackhawks. That's right. What a great city to be in for GCW Dark. We got a lot of crazy matches coming up. So, uh,. You're going to want to buckle up for that. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to just uh, be back here again. And, Me too. And commentate and do that whole thing. Exactly. Oh, and uh, yeah, we took a week off from stream uh, off the heels of a very crazy pay-per-view one in the chamber to be exact we crowned four new champions all of them inside the chamber shit was intense it was very intense we saw our very own happy win the world title congratulations to happy congratulations happy and yeah it's just been it was, it was a wild night we saw you, Jake. We saw you win the uh, the uh, predictions that night and uh, got a nice little $25 gift card. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ugh. Coming up first on our card, we're going to be having Candice Candy take on Derangy, who was in the uh, Twitch Women's Championship Chamber last week. Won by Senorita Chicle. Congratulations to her as well. And now we will have two Twitch championships defended every week on GCW. So that'll be exciting. Very exciting. Well, let's get to our first match. The candy shop has been opened. Oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest for GCW Dark is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Sao Paulo, Brazil, Candice Candy. Candice Candy, former women's champ in GCW. Didn't get to show up in the chamber, but nonetheless, she is a great competitor here. And she's going to also be going up against a former women's champ in Derangy. Both of them defeated by Rockstar Elizabeth, That's I believe. Right, yeah. We're going to see Rockstar Elizabeth in our main event taking on Emma Fox. Ooh. And introducing a her opponent, accompanied to the ring by Kennedy, Derangy. non-title match because we did see Alicia winning the women's championship at one in the chamber so she, and she's got to face karma at Luigi's Sunday that's right she's gonna have to face karma and karma has been MIA for a little bit perhaps she's training I although I don't think she'll need a train to take on Alicia that I mean, the size difference, you know, Karma's a, a veteran of the ring. A wrestling hall of famer. That's right. As a matter of fact. We're going to get underway with our opening match here. Derangy and Candice Candy with a neck breaker to start it off. Derangy and Kennedy have formed this tag team uh, recently. Oh, sisters. Uh, former... You know, former rivals of the ring have come together to uh, set aside their differences. 
and you see Kennedy at ringside supporting her sister. Yeah. And Candy with a, wow, Hurricane Rana wrapping around the body. This Thursday on GCW, we'll see Happy's championship celebration along with a lot of other action. Candy just really in control of this match. Yeah, she's really from the from the, the gate, right out the gate. She's been uh, really, oh, I spoke too soon. Derangey with some forearms to the face. Ow. I also spoke too soon. Uh, we'll have both our Twitch titles defended on GCW on Thursday. We're going to be having a uh, number one contenders match as well for the tag team championships. Look at Candy. Sunset flip, power bomb. We're going to be seeing Alicia versus Scum Flower, almost a sort of rematch from one in the chamber, the two finalists, non-title match. Ooh. And um, John K. Rasselman will have Kid uh, fight his first match for him as well. Kid, now the bitch of John K. Rasselman. That's right. And I've been told that uh, fans are... are Starting to call it the the bitchocracy of John K. Rasselman. The uh, bitchocracy. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, he's I, taking on the win loss record of John K. Rasselman. Mm -hmm. Ever since uh, Twitch uh, Twitch era started, John K. Rasselman's record has been one in five. It's been pretty garbage, and so he wants Kid to win some matches because he knows how good Kid is. And he's going to use that to his advantage. And now Candice Candy working on the head of Derangey. Really wrenching there. Derangey has had quite the history here in GCW. One of the better win-loss records in our women's division. Uh, going 8-10. She definitely was on more of... Oh, wait, wait, look at this, look at this! Oh, powerbomb to the outside by Candy. Incredible. And Derangey goes Bro. for a punch. Candice Candy dodges it, lifts her up. Where's she going? Brutal. Starting the count. Already at a count of three here. Yes, sir. And... And back and forth here. We're at four now from Rudolph. Candace Candy. Count of five. Oh, sends Derangey in. We won't have a count out just yet. Or will we? Oh, oh she's getting there. Oh, Candace Candy going up. Perhaps looking Top for the... Oh, leg drop. Brings up Derangey now. Into the corner. Now, going for a, oh, diving cross body. Beautiful. And now, perhaps looking for the exclamation point on this match is Candice Candy. Swanton Bomb. And the cover. Two, three. Here is your winner, Candice Candy. Candice Candy just really in control of that match. Yeah, I, I barely saw For any offense part. from, from Derangey there. Throughout the whole match. Neither did I. Little short burst, but... Yeah, a little short burst really here not there. a lot. But, uh, very, uh, great victory for Candice Candy, for sure. Exactly. I agree. And she capped it off with a swanton bomb to get the victory there. Just incredible. Well, folks, the candy shop is open once again. 
Could we see Candice Candy Ooh. potentially work towards a women's title opportunity? I think so. Only one way to find out. Just keep seeing how she's doing. Just gotta tune into GC Dub every week. That's right. And next, we're going to see the family in action. We saw oh, wow. Lando Alcal and Big Ben lose their tag team titles last or two weeks ago to uh, Zakeman and Eric Tegan, who won their titles back in a steel cage match. And Jake Impact, that was one of the best steel cage matches we've ever seen. <laughs> That's right. So good that I don't even remember what happened during it. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Eric Tegan and Zay Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> A lot of failed attempts to escape. Yeah. yeah, and just that. Only that. Only that. Um, Eric Tegan and Zay called their shot, and they said, we want our rematch inside a steel cage. And uh, you can't. You can only imagine Gilly, I don't think, is that happy about it. Oh, certainly not. So. Ooh. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say who they're taking on. They're going to be taking on the team of Mr. Ed and Striker Fox. Looking to make a name for themselves here in GC Dub. You're a very good singer. I am. Thank you, thank you. The following contest is a tag team match and it is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the first team, from Worcester, Massachusetts, Mr. A. Haven't really seen much of Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, zero and three here in GCW. We've really only seen him in battle royals <laughs> and including the Spotify Royale, I believe he was in. Uh, so I, this is his first tag team contest in GCW. I believe so as well. And his tag team partner from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, Striker Fox. And Striker Fox, the EMT from Pawtucket, we uh, is his first uh, his first few matches in in GCW involved uh, a little bit of a rivalry with Brock Lesnar, who he unfortunately he was able to pin in an elimination match in his very first match, but then they went one on one and Brock Lesnar made mincemeat out of this guy. And this is not you know this. This is a beefy guy right here. Certainly. So the team, Certainly his beefy. his size combined with the uh, the quickness of Mr. Ed, they could perhaps uh, have a shot in this match against the family. And their opponents, accompanied to the ring by Gilly, they are the team of Lando Alcal and Big Ben. The family. Former tag champs. They did not hold those titles very long. I will say that much. They certainly not. In fact, only 28 days. Not very long at all. Nope. And uh, but, you know, you gotta give some props to them. They won. Those were their first titles here in GCW. Uh, yeah. They are now, as a tag team, 
they are two and two. Looking to make that record a positive one. And Gilly yeah. will be at ringside to make sure uh, everything goes according to plan. Now we got a lock up here from Mr. Ed and Lando Alcal. Clean break there, and they lock up again. Lando takes him down. Mr. Ed gets him back up, and beautiful test of strength here. Mr. Ed really proving that he might be the stronger individual of the two. Gets sent into the ropes by Lando Alcal. They bump into each other. Another lock up here. Nope. Ed's in control. Elbows to the gut by Lando. Oh. Rolls around. Drop toe hold by Mr. Ed. And a bulldog. Tags in Striker Fox. Striker Fox goes for the stop. Lando dodges it. Punches to the face by the EMT. And bam, slams him down. Strike of Fox establishing his dominance. This is a big dude, but look at Lando. Overpowering. Strike of Fox, Lando's going to go for the tag on his brother, Big Ben. Oh. Goes for the chops. Big Ben with a stomp. Takes down. Strike oh, wow. Fox. And a flatliner. Striker Fox kicks off Big Ben. It's for a stomp, but Big Ben's up, up to his feet again. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip into the ropes. Looked like he was going for perhaps a back body drop. But Striker Fox is one step ahead. And now, suplex. Oh, wait. Look at that. Just balancing Big Ben and bringing him down for the suplex. What a beautiful suplex by Striker Fox. Indeed. Looking to end it here. Oh, he goes for the elbow. I thought he was going to go for the cover. I thought so as well. Now into the corner where Mr. Ed is. I think he was going for the tag, but a reversal and another one. Goes for the clothesline, reverses, spinning back kick. Into Lando's corner. Striker Fox turns him around. Same thing on this side, though. Big Ben trying to make that tag, but Striker Fox is not allowing it to happen. Big Ben also not allowing Striker Fox to tag in Mr. Red. Yeah, it's a very evenly matched uh, match. Even, even, very even match. And props Big Ben up. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we've seen this move from Striker Fox. Oh my God. Is that it? One. Very well two. could be. Nope. But it's not. Nope. The match goes on. And now Striker, Striker Fox with a defibrillator. That's I might have be. to pick a new name because defibrillator oh. is what they use to bring him back to life, isn't it? <laughs> I think so, yeah. So, huh. We'll see. <laughs> and Big Ben is back up. He was not able to make that cover. Lando broke it up. But now, going for a submission on Big Ben. Pulling on the arm there. Oh, Ben looks like he's in pain, man. He could tap very much. He could tap right here. No, he gets out.
Ben bringing Striker Fox to the ropes. Off the ropes he goes. Jumps. Oh, beautiful. Maneuvers here in the back elbow drop. Oh, yeah, what a big Ben. Hey. Not even a two count for Striker Fox. Oh, and a clothesline. Oh, he makes the tag to Lando with an Enziguri. Oh, a little trouble there. Oh. GC flub. A little yeah, GC a... flub there. It's all right, but Lando is down on the ground now. Striker Fox took advantage of that little slip up. Oh, yeah. and now some clotheslines from Striker Fox. Back body drop. And a spine buster. Striker Fox is menacing, a very menacing individual. Could he put Lando Alcal away this time? Oh, Lando pushes him, shoves him out of the way. Kick there from Fox. Enziguri, Striker Fox dodges it. And Striker Fox just stomping him. Lando Alcal's midsection. Now Lando goes for the kick, but Striker Fox drops him. Single leg Boston Crab. Lando's right near the ropes, though. And he gets the tag on Big Ben. Now Ben's in. Swinging double axe handle. Now Big Ben's going up to the top rope. What do we got here? Wow! Big Ben Whoa. with a corkscrew. Calls that the Big Ben theory. Mr. Rod breaks it up. Ben sends him out, though. Big ben makes him pay. Oh, but that was just the distraction Striker Fox needed. We got blood. Put your kids to bed if you don't have kids. Sign the adoption papers. You know the rules. Yeah! Adoption people! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Mr. Ed oh, taking man, advantage man. of a bloodied Big Ben, BBB. BBB. Into the corner, clothesline. Irish whip, back body drop. What's Ben got planned here? Rests him on the ropes. There he goes. Another one of these. Elbow to the face of Mr. Ed. What's Ben got planned? What's he got in the up his sleeve? Oh, jumping clothesline. Oh. Is that the match? Mr. Ed, bloodied and defenseless. He kicks out though. Tag to Lando. Now Lando looking to end this match. Puts him down, gets him around for that cattle mutilation submission on Mr. Ed. Will it be enough? Will Mr. Ed tap out of this? This is a brutal submission, and he's getting out of it. Beautiful wherewithal from Mr. Ed. Later, he seems to go down easy. Bulldog. Ed, what's he got? Pile driver! Absolutely brutal move there. Striker this Fox is gonna go in it. Two! Wow! Here are your winners, the team of Striker Fox and Mr. Ed! 
incredible match. Indeed, very incredible match. We saw a lot of close calls for the family and a lot of close calls for Striker Fox and Mr. Ed, but uh, especially right here, this move from Big Ben, the Big Ben Theory. Thought that would have been it. And then of course we saw Lando put Mr. Ed into that cattle mutilation, but he got out of it. And that is the kind of resiliency you need from a tag team. Look at these two working together so well. It works together very well. Great victory for this team of Striker Fox and Mr. Ed. Oh, we still got plenty more action to come in this episode of GCW Dark. We got some Animalia action coming up next. We saw a new Animalia champion crowned last week. Or two weeks the ago. Pinata dog. That's right, the Pinata Dog becoming the newest GCW Animalia champion. It came down to Reese and Oliver, but in the end, Reese was able to get the cover on Oliver and win his very first GCW Animalia championship. But we're going to see the very first Animalia champion in action against. One of our newcomers here in the Animalia division. My own dog, Finn, takes on Ellie, the cat of Megaroni Tony. Ooh. We've seen a bit of an alliance between um, Meg and uh, Mufasa. Saw so Meg had a, ma a hardcore match with Rob at our pay per view, and Mufasa came out and supported Meg and, and uh, helped her get the victory over Rob. And we really don't know what Mufasa's intentions are, but he's been acting a little shady lately. He's acting a little yeah. saucy. Saucy baka. Saucy baka. I mean, what do you make of uh, Mufasa's behavior lately? You know? like, what's, what's his motive? I couldn't tell you. It would seem a little shady when he uh, answered the open challenge for the Spotify title. And this whole alliance with Megaloni, Tony, and Rob... Uh, I think he was just gonna go uh, support whoever won. Yeah, I agree. What did, what did we say? What did Seamus say? He was a clout chaser. Yeah. What was really a clout chaser? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Mega Roni Tony and Mufasa from Meg's bedroom, Ellie. Ellie was featured in the Animalia Chamber match. Didn't come out on top, but still a great opportunity for a, a newcomer like Ellie. And her opponent from Mississippi, now residing in Massachusetts, Finnegan. And this guy is fucking insane. He's so crazy and wild. Very fucking fast. He's zooming.
When this match is gonna start, oh yeah, I'm at ringside with Finn. And lock up here between Finn and Ellie. Into the corner, they go. And Rudolph gonna look for a clean break here. Clean break. Oh my god, Ellie with the slap. Oh my god. Little play. Dirty tactics here from Ellie. And now Ellie with the face buster. And Ellie really taking advantage of uh, the ref's rules here. Goes for the kick, but Finn says nope. Finn not taking this line down. Absolutely not. Finn uh, actually hates cats, fun fact. Oop. But unfortunately, he's severely outnumbered in GCW because most of our animal division is cats. I think we have yeah. what? Actually, it might be half and half. Reese. Jesse Reese. Finnegan. Teeter. Dusty. That's five. And uh, I think there's like 12. All right, so it's seven to five. Seven cats, five dogs. Oh, and a cover here by Finnegan. One kick out by Ellie. Ellie dodges the kick now. And Ellie's on the outside. Finnegan brings her back in. Ellie got Finn locked up here. Oh, kick to the midsection. Finnegan sends Ellie to the outside. And now he's going up. Look at Finn. Finn might be ready to fly here. Off the top rope. Oh, my God. He completely misses. What a doofus. Get up, Finn. You jumped completely over her, dude. Oh. Oh. Chop to the chest of Ellie. No, he needs to get back in the ring. Yes. Ellie gets back in All the right, ring. All right, they're back. Right. Now Ellie. Snap suplex. Ellie wrenching the head of Finnegan. Careful, you're going to break his fucking neck, dude. Chill. Into the corner. Oh, and a kick to Finn. What's Ellie got here? Oh, cartwheel, moonsault. And the cover. Finn's staying in this one, though. Finn with a lot of resiliency. Indeed. I mean, that's he's the very first Animalia champion. You kind of have to have resiliency. Oh, God, Finn. Oh, God. Don't tap. Don't tap nope, 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 nope. He's still in it. And will we see blood? Ooh. Oh, God, that was best. Got to be broken in half. Now what's Finn thinking? Finn's setting up something. Springboard. Oh, he goes through the middle rope and a neck breaker. Look at Oh, Mega Roni Tony's messing with the turnbuckle there. Rudolph, pay attention. <laughs> Into the corner goes Ellie. No time to be a doofus. She got a mask over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jake. Works, perhaps. Here we go. Oh! To the outside. Finn picks up Ellie. Now Ellie's still in it. Come on, Finn. Oh. Oh. 
Whoa, 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 look for a Hurricane Rana, but Finn reversed it. Now get back in the ring. Get back now in. Get back in the ring. All right, I'm going to let Finn do his thing here. Oh. Oh. And some beautiful chops there from Finn. Takes down Ellie, and he is... Zoom in once again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Gut buster military press. But look, there's Megaroni Tony with the distraction again. Rudolph, you need to pay attention to the match, bro. DDT to Ellie. And cover now. One. Rudolph's in perfect position. No! I swear I heard three. I swear I heard three as well. Finn. <laughs> Looking to end this one. Spanish fly. Rudolph's in perfect position once again. Maybe Rudolph's not crooked. Yeah, he still might be a little crooked. Here is your winner, Finnegan. I had no doubt in my mind from the beginning that Finn would win this match. I had no doubt in my mind either. You do bring up a good point. Perhaps Megaroni Tony should have been ejected. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know. The way I see it is if you have an animal in GCW you're and you're out here to support them, let them let them breathe a little. I mean, like, yeah, we can be out here. Like, I'm out here supporting Finn, but I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know. Fucking with the turnbuckle. Yeah, I'm not trying to rig the votes, so to speak. You know. Yeah. Megaroni Tony kept repeatedly was going up there and and shouting at the ref. Meanwhile, I'm surprised, honestly, that Mufasa was doing nothing. Megaroni Tony rigged it. <laughs> She tried to rig it. <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. Well, at the end of this match, Finn is victorious and has one more win added under his belt. The very first animal in GCW. He's the OG. The OG. The OG Animalia. I'm going to pause this real quick from hide this from you. Oh. I wonder what we could have next. It's a surprise. Oh. Nice. <laughs> like surprises. I know you do. We still got a few matches left here tonight, uh, including our main event, former women's champion, both former women's champions, the rock star Elizabeth, who will be accompanied to the ring by her husband, John the Snake, uh, will take on our women's champion who has held the most championships, Emma Fox. Wow. Quite the main event in store. Yes, sir. It'll be exciting. It'll be quite quite the epic main event for our return to GCW Dark. Ooh. All right. Down, 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 down. And your following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Massachusetts, he is the weather guy, Foo Fly. 
haven't seen much of Phil Fly lately. And that's why we're doing GCW Dark, so we get a chance to showcase some of the talent in GCW that we don't see, you know, on the main cards. On the you regular, know. so to speak. Right. Well, we, we got some of the biggest rivalries happening on Thursday nights. You know, Happy, we got Lord Sweepy and Tech Deck, you know, Alicia, our champions, our Twitch champions, everyone. We got Kid and John K. Rasslin. Those are our Thursday night guys, and, you know, we obviously don't want to take the spotlight off of them. But we also want to put some more uh, light on our competitors who aren't on Thursday nights. Yeah. Oh, shit. And introducing his opponent from Massachusetts, representing twitch.tv slash Jake Impact. He is your prediction champion and the Joker of GCW, Jake Impact. I must say, I like the belt, I like the new gear. I'm glad you enjoy it. I. I, I thought the belt was a nice uh, idea, by the way. Great idea. Great idea, indeed. Wait till you see what's under the mask, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The Joker, baby. He's the Joker. It made sense to, you know, that's the thing right now. So, but Jake Impact. Oh my God, it might get rolled up real quick by Phil. No, not even one count. Ah, oh, and he trips Phil, brings him down to his feet. Phil's back up though. Punches. Oh, and a chop to Phil Fly's chest, but Phil Fly fights back with a punch. And oh 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 another roll up nope thought it was gonna be another no roll way, up Jose. Oh and Jake Impact just shoves him down. down. Oh Stay Oh my god the fuck down. And Phil Fly getting Did absolutely brutalized no. Wrenching on the neck now, trying to break his neck. <laughs> and cover here by the Joker. Oh, kick to the back. And the knees. Owie. Yowie, owie. <laughs> Yowie. Wow, three. Phil Fly is a former world champion, Jake Impact, former Twitch.tv champion, former tag team champion with Kanye West, and former intercontinental, two-time intercontinental champion. Oh, yeah. Got quite the resume for the Joker. And a kick out at one, and look, oh, Phil can... flies up. I might even have the second longest reign with the Intercontinental Championship. Let's see. I'll fact check. <laughs> Jake Impact has the second longest reign. Oh, yeah. Correct. 42 days. Jake Impact brings Phil up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. The Impact Zone has landed. But Phil kicks out. He finds a little bit of energy left in him. How are you still in this? Jake. Don't worry. Creeping up on It'll Phil. It'll be over soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. Is that it for Phil Fly? <laughs> Here is your winner, the Joker of GCW, Jake Impact.
<laughs> wow, and it's cute that he thought he was gonna win. <laughs> it is cute, isn't it? Quite, quite. Jake may have lost the IC cool. title, but he's still on a roll, man. Don't discount the uh, the ability of Jake. You want to see what's in store for me? Well, you'll just have to tune in to Dark and tune in Thursdays at 6.30 on twitch.tv slash Mr. Galeer to find out. No, you can't. Truly pay-per-view quality. That's right. Jake Impact certainly making an impact on Dark. He do be the Joker, though. <laughs> yes. He do be joking. I may know someone else who be joking, though. Who's that? Goblin. Oh, uh, very... Mmm. Good point. Very close Joker look-alike. Yes, yes. Very close. <laughs> Tech Deck Troll Bane do be looking good in a money suit. I gotta agree, he's very, you know, clean cut, handsome. So, uh, this Thursday on GCW, we're actually going to be seeing a number one contenders tag team match between Balls Battalion, Todd Penny and Big Johnson, and the Masked Men. Now, we've got two of those teams in this match coming up next. Uh, instead, the Money Men, Lord Sweepy and Tech Deck, will be replacing the Masked Men. Um, sort of just a preview of, preview of what's to come. I must say, Big Johnson do be looking like Kevin, though. <laughs> well, it is his uncle. Oh. Oh, really? Mm. Then Kevin looks like him. They look like each other. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Epic. Quite. I think this is funny. I do. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. <laughs> Look at the Balls Battalion walking down to the ring. Indeed. Your presidential champion. Ladies Hugh and Kong. gentlemen, the following contest is a 
triple threat tornado tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the good old USA, they are the team of Yukon and the President of the United States, Big Fish, the Balls Battalion. Both had impressive showings in the World Title Chamber match. Yukon kind of looks like you. Wow, crazy. I wonder, maybe, maybe I'm related to him. Maybe he's your twin. Maybe, who knows? No comment. No comment. Big Fish made it to the final three. It's the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's Penny and Big Johnson. And introducing their opponents, the team of Todd Penny and Big Johnson. They've only had one match so far as a team uh, against 50% Bay. And uh, their record is one and up. But quite the role these two are on. Or quite the momentum, I should say. Quite the momentum, yes. Look how big these dudes are. They're huge. Mountains of a man. Man Mountain. Oh, that should be their tag name. Man Mountain. Man Mountain. <laughs> Are you ready to suck it? <laughs> Bow to the masters. Break it down. Break it down. And the third team. They are the team of Tech Deck Trollbane and Mr. Spotify Royale himself, the Money Man, Lawrence Sweepy. They are collectively known as the Money Man. Sweepy, the number one contender to the world championship since I, he won that Spotify Royale. I gotta say, congratulations to Happy, but he might have his work cut out for him come come Luigi Sunday. Lord Sweepy is Indeed. no joke. He, he may be a pompous bastard, but he is actually quite a uh, scary individual to, uh, you know. He trained in Japan. That's right. He did, and, you know, now he's got, now he's got support in the form of Tech Deck Trollbane. Yeah. His, his protege, so to speak. Happy. Got a huge target on his back. Indeed. And this match is underway. It's one fall to a finish, so these guys kind of have to pay attention a little bit. We've already got Sweepy in a single leg Boston Crab from Yukon. And now we're seeing the tag team debut of the Money Men. As you see, Tech Deck trying to knock over Big Johnson, but Big Johnson is not phased at all. In a match like this, you really got to have eyes in the back of your head, so to speak. Right, because you could be getting your ass beat, but your partner could also be getting your ass beat. And so you, it's almost like babysitting a little bit. Yeah. You make sure nobody pins exactly. the partner because... But then you got two other teams to worry about. I could easily see the Money Men winning this match, though. They've formed uh, quite the team. Oh, 100%. Oh, and beautiful move, move 
Hits all around. There's a lot of action to cover. Yukon is rolled out to take a breather. Big Johnson and Lord Sweeping out taking each other on. But the Money Men have Big Johnson cornered. Lord Sweepy decides to taunt. Oh, wait, look, look. Big Johnson's on the outside. Look at Tech Deck. Off the top rope. Hurricane. Oh, my oh, word. Wow. And look at Todd Penny oh, now. Oh, my word. Todd Penny. Oh, rolling Lord Sweepy down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A lot of action to cover. We've got Tech Deck Troll Bane fighting Big Johnson, Yukon, and Sweepy going at it. And on the outside, you got Big Fish and Todd Penny. And Tech Deck repeatedly shoving the face of Big Johnson into the corner. Sends Looks Johnson. like Coupon may have had a submission on Sweepy. Yeah, I was, I was, I was but he gets looking out of it. at that. Yeah, Looks like he got out of it. Oh, look at Tech Deck. Oh, looked like he was going for the roll up, but brings it into a power bomb with one arm. Todd Penny really taking it to Big Fish on the outside. Indeed. Oh, leg drop. Imagine that thigh coming down on you on the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Indeed. Wow, that that would hurt. And if you're watching along on YouTube, you know, let us know in the comments or the chat. That's so good. <laughs> if you, uh, oh, wait, hey, we got a cover here. Two. Oh, Penny and Johnson get the victory. What an upset. Wow. Here are your winners, the team of Todd Penny and Big Johnson. Number one contenders? Wait, no. No, that'll be Thursday. This is just the free. That'll be tomorrow. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, was this the move that took him down? <laughs> well, Perhaps. Johnson getting the cover on Tactic. Easy, quick dub there. Uh, instead of the money men on GCW, it'll be the masked men. Cameron and Griffin, I believe. No, 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 no. So, these guys get, better be ready. You won't be able to pin Griffin or Cameron as easy as they just did with uh, Tech Deck. Lord Sweep, you really should have been babysitting. Well, that's the thing. So, he's probably going to have a nice little talk with Tech Deck. Perhaps he was too confident in his ability to kick out. Maybe. Oh my. Oh my. Look at what we have here. Got some more singles action coming up. FKA squared versus the big moosey. Can't wait. I kind of look like both uh, Joker and Bane, if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, a little kinda. bit. A kind of a, a double bit. whammy. A little double whammy. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh shit, it's ready. It's fucking ready! And so far, we haven't fucked it. Nope, it's not happening today. No, 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 sir. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. 
from St. Louis, Missouri, FKA Squared. They run and go. Don't agree with what I know. Is that Motorhead in the, in the, in the, in the Discord? Yeah. I see the line in the sand. <laughs> Time to find out who I am. For anyone that was wondering, my hair is slowly growing back on my legs. Oh! I actually should, really? I should post an update pic, I think. Do it. Post it on your Instagram. I actually, I meant a while, a few weeks ago, to post the, uh, like a time lapse of me shaving them. So maybe I'll throw that up there too with the update pick. Oh, looking forward to that. And his opponent, introducing Clap a like. from Massachusetts, the Big Moosey. Soon. Soup. <laughs> Simpleton. The shattered. He do be shattered. He's not cracked. The crack. The shattered. The simpy McSimperson. Oh, that's a good one. I got a belch do it oh man we got a lock up oh, here oh man that was sexy in the corner big f uh oh, i almost said big fish big moosey and fka randall clean break from rudolph good job rudolph restoring order for once in your pathetic excuse of a career god i hate rudolph I didn't know he had Alex Jones on commentary. <laughs> oh, don't you say that, buddy. Soon enough, I'll become the Joker. <laughs> Rudolph, you fucking goddamn fucker. <laughs> you goddamn fuckers. And FKA Randall. Ooh. Get that through your goddamn fucking head. I just noticed Seamus has a like a leopard pattern on his hair. I don't remember giving him that. Ooh. Oh, fisherman suplex. Kind of, kind of nice. Mm, a little sexy. <laughs> 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 what if we like? <laughs> kissed, I like to what if we? That hair. What if we? Uh, what if we kissed on GCW? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Hot. Oh. Kiss back. Oh, look at that! Went for that. Looked to trip him, but Seamus jumped over I'm sure, it. I'm sure she Clay would really appreciate that. Listen, she's uh, she's probably not watching this. It's okay, Jake. She's probably not watching this. <laughs> I told her she. I I will say this. I told her she became champion. She goes, "Hey," <laughs> that was her response. Hey. We'll see. I'm excited to see who her first opponent will be. On. Oh, Grace, I'll never be done. Lean on it. Now, welcome to the queen. The queen, dumb. Where the kings bow down. They relinquish the crown. And it's turning that around to me. Can and now, Randall goes for the cover on Moosey. Yeah. Kick out by Moosey. Check out. Who do you think's, uh, who do you think's got this match? My heart says Moosey. I gotta agree with you. My heart also says Moosey. I think he could really use the victory. That guy's poor neck has been destroyed. Shattered, Shattered yes. He's one and eight in GC dub. Randall is seven and eight. Randall's I am seven and six. Is this true? I believe so. Oh, now you are because of that win. That's right. Hell yeah. And now wrenching on the arm. Is Moosey going to tap, though? 
Poor Moosey. Oh, and it slams the arm down. Insult to injury, but Sheamus is back up after that kick. But FK Randall back with a, a DDT. Sheamus back up again, though. Now into the corner goes Randall. Sheamus, look at this. Ooh, sunset flip power bomb off the middle rope. Got him back up again. Ah. Hello? 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 Is there Hello? a Mufasa Hello? commentary? Hello? Dude, I can't believe Moosey's in the ring right now. Are you shitting me? Hey, you should have been here earlier. I don't know. You might not have much time left. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh God. He shamos to shatter. For the cover. That's it. Poor Moosey. <laughs> Damn. You, you came in here. Line. You came in here, and and you instantly. <laughs> Here's your winner, FKA Squared. Illusion is a mystery. Did I miss the GCW Dark Squared? Uh, there's one more match. <laughs> uh, look at here. Hang on. Nice little. Uh, First of respect. That's right. You know, and that's just the kind of man that Moosey is, you know? He's, yeah, he's not going to disrespect you. He's not mad. No. He understands. He will live to see another day. For now. So what matches have I missed tonight? You missed. Um, Candice Candy defeated Derangey. Okay. Mr. Ed and Strike Fox defeated the family. Okay. Uh, Finnegan defeated Ellie. Uh, oh. and you and Meg were in her corner, and Meg was being annoying. Oh. Um, Fucking with the turnbuckle. Pain. Yeah, I, I knew. I mean, I knew I was out there. You, and, you yeah. missed the official debut of the Joker of GCW, Jake Impact. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, <laughs> who he beat Phil. Um, what else? Uh, Todd Penny and Big Johnson uh, won a tag team three-way match. Nice. And I think that's it. And then that one that you just saw. And now we have our main event. Striker Fox and Mr. Red defeating the family. Did you mention that yeah, one? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, yay. Yeah. All right. You want to go to the All deli? Right. I want to go to the deli, bro. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> you just sound going sad. To the deli? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love the deli. Yeah, know. I can tell by the sound of your voice. It's wonderful. <laughs> uh, hey, I got some news for you, though, uh, Mufasa. Yeah, hey. You have a match against Rob. Uh, on Thursday. Jeez! Yeah, I knew I'm I'm prepared. You got I mean So let me let me get let me ask yeah, this. When you came out during the hardcore match, let's be honest, were you just going with whoever won the match? Uh I don't need to disclose that information actually. Uh, I, I feel like you owe the public an uh, uh, Listen. explanation. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. How about we worry about the rock star Elizabeth here, who just recently lost the GCW Women's Championship at one in the chamber. I'm to sure, Alicia. I'm sure she wants to hear that. Nonetheless. Alright, listen. Uh, Ladies here's and gentlemen, deal. your main event of the evening is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by John the Snake. Representing SPW, the rock star, Elizabeth. Well, hey, one of our longer reigning champions. It's true. Uh, what the longest? The longest is Ruby Riot with, or should I say, Ruby Soho with three hundred. Destination. Uh, but Rockstar collectively held it for 
114 days, 91 days in her last reign. That's pretty impressive. I don't know what that is. W for wiener. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. I wasn't even looking. And her opponent from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, Emma Fox. The boys in the production truck must have wiener on the mind. <laughs> Is that canon? Is that what the W is gonna stand for now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, since you since you asked your question, I decided that um, after my match with Rob, oh, you guys can know my true intentions. All right. We better. So does this mean Breaking you're gonna be there news. on Thursday? What? Does this mean you're oh, there, be on, there th on Thursday? Uh, to be determined. Okay. At six thirty. That's right. Eastern. You can catch GCW 6:30 Eastern on my Twitch channel. Twitch TV slash Mr. Yeah. 5:30 Central, 4:30 Mountain, 3:30 Pacific. Oh, look at well, you! Mountain, mountain time's not real, so <laughs> only losers live in Mountain Time. Damn. Sorry to any of our Mountain viewers. Paul, it's Paul. I'm outing Paul. Ah, uh, sorry, Paul. Hot robot. True, yeah. Hot robots from the planet of Colorado. Colorado's different. Colorado's okay. Oh. Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming's for freaks. The wacky Wyoming adventures. Oh. Whoa! Rockstar Elizabeth takes down Emma Fox with a crucifix. These two How have do you been... How feel about Montana? <laughs> <laughs> I have no opinions on Montana. Fuck Montana. Didn't you do a, a, a state tier list? I did indeed. I forget More where Montana is. Texas did, right, is the, the best state. shaped state in shape. I, I can agree with that. I wouldn't call them the best state, period. Just just the shape of their state. Yeah. What about Florida shape? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. We got a submission here. Emma Fox could oh. tap. I'm sure the boys in the production truck like the shape of Florida. Why? Because it looks AKA like a wiener? America's way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at, look at Rockstar again, putting a submission on America's Emma Fox. Wang. What do you What do you guys think is going through Rockstar's head? She's like, I will make her tap. I'm just going to keep doing this and no one can stop me. She's got a heel hook now on Emma Fox. And she's right there in front of the ropes. She's right there. Nope. Oh. I don't know why Rockstar keeps going for submissions, though. I don't know. Now, what do we got oh, now? Look at this. Another one? Nope. nope. Consume nope. the last dab. <laughs> and also, these two have had quite the, uh, quite the rivalry that had started since the birthday stream when Emma Fox eliminated Rockstar Elizabeth from that, uh... Yeah. That over the top rope battle royale, and then oh, we saw man. Emma Fox eliminated Rockstar from the chamber match. Fun fact: Emma Fox has consumed the last dab. It's true. Emma Fox has indeed consumed the last dab and hated it. Confirmed. Mr. Galeer also consuming the last dab. I honestly can't really remember. Whoa! I can't really remember what it tastes like but I remember my I couldn't feel my tongue Evan Townsend also whoa 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 oh oh, oh oh look at that beautiful transition into a cover by a rock star Elizabeth and now Elizabeth going up what can we see here from the rock star whoa leg whoa. drop Good. oh she she let it there. sit there for a second oh so massive <sighs> Now what's she looking for? Nope. Emma Fox scouted it, and wow, she's still got energy. The three-time women's champ. Three-time? Is it three? Hang on. It is Ooh, three. Rockstar Elizabeth, a fan of the Joker, perhaps. <laughs> Just look at the colors of her gear. So now Jake has a vendetta against anyone who may even remotely <laughs> resemble the Joker. Look at John the Snake. Distracting Emma Fox up on the ropes, the Vendetta husband. Vendetta or a love. True, true, true. Oh. You may never know. 
kick out before one. Look at Rockstar's husband really looking out for her. Perhaps looking for. Go ahead. I don't know what. Maybe <laughs> an alliance. Ah, the jo the alliance of jokers. Yes. Oh. Mm. It oh, would be an unstoppable. Joker. I don't even know her. Ah, I yes. Guess. That bitch. Classic. And Rockstar. Oh, Emma's back up. Yeah, Emma Fox. Meg did it better. Oh! Now Emma Fox going up. Looking for the end of the match. Is this it? Maybe. Whoa! Frog Splash by Fox. Paying homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero. Oh, the look in yeah. here. John the Snake yet again. Viva la Raza! Oh, oh, oh. Rana. And Rockstar's up. We lie, we cheat, we steal. And the, Emma in the, in the corner, corner, Rockstar. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy! Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Look at this! With the arm rocker! Oh, oh boy. That's what broke the Rangie's arm, remember that? True. It is very true. Yeah. We get up. Oh, power bomb. And now cover on Emma Fox. Two. No. No. Open his reverse Wait. into a Boston Crab. That could be Impressive. it for Fox. No. No. Fox Emma Fox putting up quite the fight here. Pretty incredible. Another submission? Why did no. I get to see the match? Yeah, this is a good one. Why do you get to see the match? Woo! Nugget on commentary? <laughs> no. God, no. Please. God, yes! He's sleeping right now. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Jake Impact is not allowed to do that. <laughs> oh shit, we got another submission on the arm! Another submission on the arm! It doesn't care. Emma Fox! <laughs> Emma Fox is tapping! That's it. Rockstar laughing at Emma Fox. Oh, and Rockstar might have lost the championship, but she hasn't lost her drive to win. Here's your winner, the Rockstar, Elizabeth. You love to see it. I don't know. Emma Fox looked like she was in pain there. She really was fucking with that arm, and that's why she tapped. I thought that frog splash would be it, but then of course, John the Snake had to go up there. Mr. Viper, man. And that's where it started. She had that arm, and then she did this power bomb here. Turned it into a Boston Crab. And we're not going to show the replay of how the match ended. Awesome. Cool. That makes sense. Fuck, 2K. What the heck is 2K? I yeah, never heard of that. Uh, neither have I. This is all real life. <laughs> whack. What the fuck, production truck? Well, congrats to the rock star, and uh, thank you boys for joining me on GCW Dark. Thank you for having us. It's been thank real. You. Be sure to tune in Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch channel. For Galir Championship Wrestling, I have been Galir with Mufasa and Jake Impact. Have a great night, everybody. See you all tomorrow.